Now, the British motor industry may have seen better days, but here in the UK, we are at the cutting edge of research into car manufacturing. And here at Warwick, they're playing their part. I'm at the International Automotive Research Centre and I'm joined by Professor Gordon Smith. Now, Gordon, you're a materials engineer and you've been involved in some pretty exciting projects lately. Yes, we've uh, been working with the automotive industry and we're particularly pleased with the work that's been done on in-mould painting. What is in-mould painting? In-mould painting has been developed as a technique to get rid of paint shops. Paint shops are dirty, environmentally unfriendly, and for that reason they have a real uh, need to be uh, seen to be clean and better for the industry. Now we've got parts on the vehicle, such as the plastic parts of the bumper, the mirror housing that you see there. All these items, being plastic, have to be painted. Can you show me how it works? I'd love to show you how it works. Come with me. Well, here we are in the International Manufacturing Centre of the Warwick Manufacturing Group, and we're using machines, injection moulding machines, to work with the automotive industry to produce car body parts. You're talking about painting plastic, but most cars, of course, are made of steel. It's true that most at the moment are steel, but everybody's looking forward to having environmentally friendly, lightweight vehicles. And so we're seeing more aluminium bodied vehicles come in for lightweight. And of course, plastic as well is now coming into bodies. And for instance, the smart car. So what sort of cost savings are we talking about for car manufacturers? When you start to paint a component, you automatically add cost. In the case of putting paint onto a plastic part, invariably you'll double the cost of that part. So yes, there are substantial savings if you go to in mold painting. Warwick is developing this technology in conjunction with a Gloucestershire-based company called Applied Effects Laboratories. Now, Peter Herring, the technical director at AEL, has been telling me it could revolutionise car manufacturing. Many parts of a car are painted, internal and externally, and, and this uh, technology addresses all of those. And as a result of it being in the mould painting, it will reduce the costs dramatically. Um, it has a significant impact uh, environmentally and at the end of the day all that makes it uh, a cheaper product for the consumer. So it's a win-win-win for everyone. The interest has been absolutely massive across a huge range of uh, technologies, products, markets and at a more extreme level we have a company that are interested in using our technology to decorate MDF coffins to look like real wood. It, it, it is so varied. But it's not just car companies that are set to benefit from Dr Smith's expertise. Another technology he's developing called dye diffusion imaging is attracting interest from all sorts of different companies. Dye diffusion is a technique for transferring an image that you might print out onto a plastic object, possibly a mobile phone, and it works by taking the dye off the printed paper directly through the image into the plastic part. There's a small porosity in the plastic part which accepts the ink. And discussions with mobile phone manufacturers are at an advanced stage. So expect to be able to have a loved one's image embedded in your next mobile phone.